Last time on Phoenix Wright, Ace Attorney. I think her guard's down. Yeah? I bet we could even eat those donuts in the garden and say something we wanted. Mm. You eat, you die. Phew, phew, she's alive. And now, back to objecting to people. If you just do it, it will turn out okay. Hey everyone, it's Finn Dylan and it here again, and it's October 15th, 2018. You're watching Phoenix Wright, Ace Attorney. Whew! Alright, let's do this! Final day, trial, turnabout samurai. October 20th, 10 a.m., to court, courtroom number four. Do, do, do. Court is now in for the trial of Mr. Will Powers. Last time I'm saying that, Mr. Will Powers. The prosecution is ready, Your Honor. The defense is ready, Your Honor. Today will be the final day of this trial. I hope both the prosecution and the defense will be able to present decisive evidence. Very well, Mr. Edworth, your opening statement. In yesterday's session, the defense presented us with a new theory for this case. He claimed the scene of the crime was in fact Studio 2. Today I will call on people presented in the Studio 2 trailer that day. From their testimonies, the truth will become clear indeed. Hmm, very well. Uh, Edgeworth seems a bit on edge today. You may, you may call your first witness, Mr. Edgeworth. The prosecution calls Miss D. Vasquez to the stand. Miss D. Van Quest is producer who was present on the, in the studio to trailer that day. <sighs> Will the witness state her name and occupation? Quest, I am producer for Global Studios. On the day of the murder, you were in the trailer in Studio 2. As everyone here knows, yes. I dislike needless banter. Must pontificate. Do it when I'm not here. Very well, Miss Vasquez. 
please give the court your testimony concerning the day of the murder? Nick, I know she did it. Make her pay. Right. If she's guilty, I'll catch her with her pants down, um, so to speak. of the murder. I entered the trailer oh, a little before noon. The meeting began at 12 sharp and ended at 4. There, were to be, there was to be rehearsal afterwards so we went to Studio One. I was fatigued so I had Sal take me. At 2.30, we took a 15-minute break in the meeting. Sal and I ate T-bone steaks on the table in front of the trailer. We found Hammer's body later when we all went to Studio One. That's all. I have a question about one part of your testimony. You were fatigued, so you had Sal take you? The van. Hmm? There's a van at Studio 2. I had him take me. And that... thought it might be risky to walk, what with that monkey head toppling over. Van added to the court record. I, I see. <coughs> Very well, Mr. Wright. Your cross-examination. This is the final battle, Nick. Let's do it. I entered, the, I entered the trailer oh, a little before noon. By yourself? By, by yourself? Yes. You didn't stop the employee area? No. Are you always this... terse? Yes. Oh dear. At 12 sharp, it ended at 4. Did no one leave during the meeting? No, no one. Come on, let's talk a little bit more about that. The what? The witness did not come to engage in idle conversation, Governor. Governor, what's the testimony? The same can be said to you, Mr. Edgeworth. And please, and please stop being on your little desk, it hurts my ears. Grrr. There's be a rehearsal afterwards, so we went to Studio One. And when, exactly, and when exactly was that? I've forgotten. Maybe you could try remembering? 
No. The meeting ended at four. Personal was scheduled for five. I would think it was between those times. You would think? Come on, all you did was take the obvious, Edgeworth. I was fatigued, so I had Sal take me. Hold on! You had... You had Sal take you? What does that mean? It means what I just said. I had Sal take me in the Studio 2 van. Oh. Oh, right. At 2.30 we took a 15 minute break in the meeting. What were you doing during that time? Don't hit your desk. It irritates me. Yeah, Mr. Yeah, Mr. Wright. Oops. <laughs> it was a 15 minute break. Some like T-bone sticks on the table in front of the trailer. Is there someone who can verify this? Sal. No, I mean someone else. One person is enough. She committed murder during that break. She wouldn't have time to eat a T-bone steak. If I had some evidence that proves that she didn't eat that steak. Will Nick find anything? Kinda wish she had this is a little more. It's hard! I think he's pretty used to being the boss. But I'm sure you'll find some contradiction in what he said somewhere. As I thought. You claim you ate a T-bone steak. But I say you did not. What? What's this now, Mr. Wright? <coughs> look at this. Look, look, look at this. It's a plate. This plate was on the table in the employee's room. As you can see, a large bone has been left behind. Mr. Wright, did I remind you it was a T-bone steak? Exactly my point. Remember, if you will. Miss Vansquest and Mr. Manella ate at a table outside the trailer. Yet, there were no bones left on the plate. The plates were bare. Miss Vansquest. Tell me, how can a person eat a T-bone steak and not leave the bone? I think I know how. You 
I didn't eat any steak during that break. took your steak and threw it somewhere, like that incinerator. Meep. I... I see. Th then what was Miss Van's quest doing during her break? Is it obvious, Your Honor? Is it Minnesota Samurai? He was picking on Salmonella! She was meeting with the Steel Samurai! Order? Or are you saying? Yes, Your Honor. As Miss Van Quest left the trailer to eat her steak, she ran into the Steel Samurai. And then you did it. You killed him with your own hands! Mr. Wright, isn't that a little presumptuous? What kind of star are you trying to pull, Wright? Let him claim what he wants. You said I did it? Yes. Fascinating. Fascinating. Here, I was worried that today would be as boring as all the rest. Meep. Very well. Let's have a battle of wits, you and I. Any day, Fanquess. murder weapon again? Oh yes, the samurai spear. Yes. I am, as you can see, a woman of petite stature. How could I possibly use that heavy spear as a weapon? I think you'd have a great deal of difficulty using that spear, using that as a weapon. Pretty much anyone would. Ha! Huh. You see? Yes. However, that has no bearing on this case. Meaning? The samurai spear? was not the murder weapon. What is the meaning of this? The spear was found lying next to the victim's body. I have proof, Your Honor. I can prove that the spear, my spear was not used as the murder weapon. I present my proof, the so-called murder weapon. B -b -b but that is the murder weapon, Gebna. Not so fast.
Remember that this spear broke during the morning action scene run through. But someone fixed the spear. It was the security lady. She fixed it with duct tape. Now tell me, how is it possible for someone to stab a man who's wearing a thick costume with like with this to the chest? Order, order! Mr. Wright, what are you driving at? Think about what your... Silence! I'm the one testifying here, and I will be heard. Grrrr! Are you quite sane? Are you even aware of what you're saying? The samurai spear was not the murder weapon. Then pray tell, what was? How was Hammer killed? Well, Mr. Wright, can you tell what weapon was used to kill... Well, Mr. Wright, can you tell us what weapon was used to kill Mr. Hammer? Could I make a claim like that if I couldn't tell you what the weapon was? I'm afraid your confidence can sometimes be unfounded, Mr. Wright. Very well, let's see this murder weapon then. That's Jack Hammer thing on top of those stairs. Order, order. I'm gonna have order. This trial will be suspended. Mr. Wright, what is all this all about? This photograph is from five years ago. There was an unfortunate accident at Global Studios. This is a photo of that very accident. Another word of, of this was leaked to the outside. There's a close kept secret at the studio. What does what does this do with the current case, Governor? Mr. Edgeworth? You still can't see it? See the fallen man in this photo? See how the fence post pierced him through the chest? What? What? Are you sane? Yes. What happened five years ago? has happened again. Mr. Wright! Continue. It's 2.30 on the day of the murder. Miss D. Vanquest meets Jack Hammer outside the Studio 2 trailer. Then... She did it. She pushed Mr. Hammer off the stairs onto the fence.
just like Mr. Hammer had done himself, had himself done five years ago. Though whether she did it on purpose or by accident, I cannot say. In other words, the victim, Mr. Hammer. He died in the same way he caused another man to die? Five years ago? Precisely. Ironic, isn't it? I just noticed this. Why are you smoking in court? Put that out, lady! Ho ho ho! Merry Christmas! And a very creative, Mr. Wright. I could use a man like you on my script writing staff. You deny what I say is true? Mr. Wright? Let us say, for the sake of argument, that Hammer died at the trailer, as you say. Yet the body was found at Studio One, was it not? And in the evil magistrate costume, no less. Are you then claiming that I carried the body at Studio One? Turn to the trailer all in the space of a 15 minute break? How could I have disposed of the body? The break. The break in the. Governor? The break in the meeting at the trailer lasted 15 minutes from 2.30 to 2.45. Jack Hammer had been pushed up the stairs to his death, and then carried to the Studio One and placed inside his costume. There wasn't enough time. Hmm, indeed. Well, Mr. Wright, how could she have dealt with the body? Couldn't deal with it. I bet you could move it. She had another way. It's kind of a short amount of time. You see? Even I can't do the impossible. Therefore, Mr. Wright, I didn't do it. Agreed? Not agreed. Huh? Well, she had nobody carry the body other than with her own hands. For instance, Actually, for that matter, there's no need for her to do the deed in 15 minutes. And there's a way for you to carry that body. Interesting. Let's hear it then. Mr. Wright, please show us how she carried the body. Huh. Hmm. I wonder, what could she have used to carry a body. Huh, huh, huh. Miss 
that Miss Franquez. You carried the body to Studio One. And used the studio van to do it. We call your testimony. The rehearsal afterwards, so we went to Studio One. I was fatigued, so I had Sal take me. There was a, there was a fan there, right? I had Sal drive me. We used to use the van that carried the body to Studio One. Before any, everyone else got there, you put the body into the best rate costume. Hold on, Mr. Wright. Don't forget, it was Sal Nella that drove the van. Are you suggesting that Mr. Manella was a conspirator? Of course he was. Of course Salmonella ha has to be a conspirator. The body had to, had, had to be placed in the van and put into the costume. There's no way Miss Van Quest could have done that alone. Also don't forget that they had to dispose of the Steel Samurai costume. They had to because it was covered in Mr. Hammer's blood. They probably burned it in that small incinerator. Well, Miss Van Quest, shall I continue? No need. You're smarter than you look, Mr. Wright. Hump. I lose, you win. It was fun. I uh, I win. Um. So, what happens next? Don't me. Don't you have anything to say? What would you like me to say? Huh? I lost? Something like that? I just said that. Uh, wait, so you mean D Van Quest? So it was you! You killed Jack Hammer! Who can say? Huh? Are you sure I did? Mr. Wright? We can get to the Battle of Wits. And the result of that battle? You proved the possibility that I murdered Hammer. Right? But... That is only a possibility. Proof is another thing altogether. You lack decisive proof, Mr. Wright. What? Uh, uh. What? Order? Mr. Edgeworth, your thoughts? Uh, 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 uh. Uh, of course, it's the, it's the witness is. Certainly, it, it does seem very likely she did it, but uh, there's no proof. That's where this isn't sure. Well, 
I came here as a witness today. If you have no more questions, I'll be leaving. Right, what do I do now? Yes, Mr. Wright. I was hoping I'd come up with a question while pounding my desk. I didn't. You have my sympathies. Damn. Damn, damn. I come so far only to fall. So it seems there's no further questions. I'd like to end, I would like to end the cross-examination of the witness, Miss Vanquez. Yes, Mr. Edgeworth? I was hoping to come up with a question while I was objecting, Your Honor. I didn't. I see. Very well. Objection. Your Honor! I requested the witness to testify again. You're the prosecutor. You're the prosecutor. Are you not? Why are you badgering me? I'm your witness. I just want to hear your testimony again. You're so lovely. Does this make any sense to you, Your Honor? See what we have to, anything to gain by repeating the, the last several minutes, Mr. Edgeworth? I too see a little point in making Miss Van Cueff repeat herself. What exactly did you want to her to testify about? Hmm. Well, yes. Um. Indeed, very, very, really, I say, ergo. I want to hear what I want to hear what happened after they found the body, Governor. After they found the body. Very well. The witness will testify to the court concerning this matter. probably realized she did it too. But, but, wasn't he the one who said he always gets a guilty verdict? After all that, it's worth I was with Sal on the old bag, the security lady, when we found the body. The assistant was there too. Only Powers was absent. I immediately called the police, then Powers showed up. The security lady, old bag, was quite agitated, pointing at Powers, saying, He did it? I had to be left out at the proceedings. I went back to the trailer to get my script and direction notes. Then I went home. Hmm. Hmm. I see. No issue is raised by this testimony. Mr. Wright, your cross examination. Okay, Nick, we're close. Real close. See, maybe acting tough. Now, 
if you put her on the spot, she's sure to falter. Find the key you need and twist the truth out of her neck. Right. The body. Oh, so, uh, so, uh, the body. What time was that? We were gonna meet at five o'clock for the rehearsal. So I'd say it was then. When exactly did you and Mr. Mr. Brunel arrive at the studio? About ten minutes before. <laughs> the stuffing you buy in the costumes, mind you. Hmm. Anyways, so I was there too. Only Paros was absent. Mr. Paros was taking a nap, correct? So, he, so he says. Did no one go to call him? Remember? Remember? Remember what? There's a dead body. There's a dead body lying in front of us. Do you, do you expect me to be calm? She only certainly seemed calm enough when I accused you of murder. Sigh. Please, the parachute. What was I about doing at that time? No one said. No, no one said a thing. It was silent, completely silent. So we stood there until the parents were finally right on the scene. Sorry, sorry I'm late. Then silence, dead silence. Silent. Hey! Hey Nick! Why is everyone so quiet? I'm so just having to lighten things up. <laughs> Hold back, security lady? Why does the security lady think Paris had done it? She said, she said because she saw him going th towards the studio. Right, steel samurai. Well, back, I think. I can throw at her. As we looked out of the proceedings, you asked to be left out? Yes. Seems like everyone else was questioned. I'm not really that fun of that sort of thing. You can't just decide who the police will and won't question. Thankfully, the studio thinks otherwise. They were nice enough to understand that since we were in a meeting, there's, there's no way we could have been involved, so thus, they covered for us. Covered for you, or covered it up for you. There's been a lot riding on it with all those big wigs at the meeting. I'm sure her professionals helped convince everyone that they didn't require questioning. I went back to the trailer to get my script and direction notes. The script and direction notes? Yes, they're quite valuable. It wouldn't do to have them stolen. No, I guess not. Wait a second.
I thought you came to Studio One for a rehearsal. Why don't you bring your script and notes? Well, well I was at under the impression we wouldn't be rehearsing anything. Why? There was a murder after all. Who could, who could think of rehearsing after that? Oh yeah, I guess. Hmm. Very well, Mr. Van Very well, Miss Van Quest. Please continue. Objection to the witness's last statement. Huh? Think. You idiot. Miss Van Quest said that she didn't bring her s the script because there wouldn't be a rehearsal. Don't you see what that means, Governor? She would have to know about the murder before going to Studio One. Idiot. Meep. Order. Order. Mr. Edgeworth. What ha What you have just said. Is a reasonable authorization. However, I find it hard to understand why the prosecution would make such a move. Or are you thinking of a career change to defense? I appreciate the concern, Your Honor. I will stand by my statement, however, regardless of how the court sees my role here. Now, Miss Van Quest, do you have an explanation? I can't believe Edward was helping me. Hmm. The prosecution is in, 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 the, the prosecution is in cahoots with the defense. What kind of court is this? No matter. I think you misunderstood me. Perfectly good reason to believe there'd be no rehearsal. Hmm. Very well. The witness will change your testimony to reflect this reason. I knew that Hammer was injured and couldn't do any acting scenes, so I left them behind. about the injury. How did I know? Sal, he told me. Sal, the director? Hmm. You have to find something to pe you have something to you have to find something to peck this on her here here. Everything we've done till now has been wasted. I believe in you, Nick. Go get him!
you knew that Hammer was injured. Don't you think that's a little funny? I mean, it was the Steel Samurai who was injured. It was Will Powers! Mr. Wright, explain yourself! Yes, Mr. Hammer was dragging his leg in the photo. That's because he was pretending to be Mr. Powers. P pretending? One person was injured in the run through that morning. That person was Mr. Powers, not Mr. Hammer. Now, why do you think it was Mr. Hammer who was injured? Meep! I, I already said it. It was Sal who told me. That's right, he must have gotten it wrong. I think not. Mr. Manel was at the run through that morning. He would have known it was Mr. Powers who was injured. He saw it happen. Why would he tell you the wrong person? It's Van Quest. Actually, you didn't hear anything from Mr. Manella. He saw Mr. Ham Hamper limping with your own eyes. Yes, but... Was it Mr. Powers who was injured? <coughs> yes, but remember... Mr. Hammer was dragging his leg too. <coughs> he was pretending to be Mr. Powers. Ah! And when was he doing this? Well... It would have to be after he after he put on the Steel Samurai costume. I went to Studio 2 where he was murdered. Exactly. Miss Van Quest. You met him, didn't you? Saw the Steel Samurai limping. And Mr. Hammer was in the Steel Samurai suit. That's why you were confused. That's why you thought it was Mr. Hammer who had been injured that morning. Order! Order! I love order! Witness? Can you refute this claim? Humph! Yeah, let's, think you, let's see you sneak out this one, Van Quest. Very well. I have a question for you. Erk. Why are the real killers always so persistent? Why in the world would I want Mr. Hammer dead? Yes, he would fallen on hard times, but he was a star. I I think gave him his death. Nothing <coughs> Hmm Yes, you wouldn't need a motive. Why would he have killed the victim? There's a, a reason it is unclear to this court. Does the have anything to say on the matter? In other words, can you prove she had a motive? Well, I can prove it. Okay. 
I have proof and I'll show it to you. I present to the court as evidence to Miss Van Quest's motive in this murder. my proof. This is a photo from before. This photo reveals a motive in this murder. I'm right, aren't I, Mr. Van Quez? Yeah. Five years ago, Mr. Hammer was at the height of his fame. With D. Van Quist's help, a terrible accident was swept under the, sh the carpet. Ladies and gentlemen, the case currently up for trial. Began that day, five years ago. Ironically enough, that accident precipitated Mr. Hammer's fall. His fall from stardom. This guilt weighed him down, no doubt. However, you, D. Vanquez, used Mr. Hammer. You made him work for you for petty change. Hemp. Bringing us to the present day and Mr. Hammer's last role as the evil magistrate. Yes, undoubtedly it was a constant source of shame for the X-Star. Hmm. One moment, Mr. Wright. We are talking about motives here, yet you only talked about Mr. Hammer. It almost seems that it almost seems as if as if it was Mr. Hammer who, who had killed D. Van Quest, not the other way around. What motive would Miss, Miss Van Quest have? Yes, that's right. According to what you said, I would have no reason to kill Hammer. He's a good source of income for me. And I never get rid of useful men. It's a policy of mine. Mr. Wright, please explain Miss Van Quest's motive for murder. She had, no motive. she had no motive, Your Honor. What's that now? It was Mr. Hammer who was out for blood. All Miss Van Quest did was push him off the stairs in self-defense. What's that now? It's simple. Mr. Hammer was intending to kill Miss Van Quest. What? What? Your Honor, <coughs> Jack Hammer drugged Mr. Powers with the power pills. Jack Hammer stuck into the dressing room and stole the still samurai costume. Jack Hammer wore the security co wore the costume to the full security lady, and thinking he was Powers. Then Jack Hammer made his way to the trailer. For what purpose, you ask? To 
killed the event quest who had t cruelly taken advantage of him all those years. So you did, so you did do it, didn't you? Yes. I am guilty. It was me. Someone call an ambulance! There's blood everywhere! We're, we're too late! Ah! Miss Van Quest! What, 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 what happened here? Manuel fell from the trailer stairs. Manuel! Manuel! Miss Van Quest, please try to remain calm. No! No! How could this? There's an accident! Mr. Hammer between an action scene and... No! Manuel! Manuel! Don't touch him! It's been quest! No! Please don't die! Please! Congratulations, Mr. Wright! I lose... again. Mr. Edgeworth, where is the Vanquest? In the waiting lobby, Your Honor, as calm and collective as ever. <coughs> oh, I see. What happened to my voice earlier? It sounds like a normal person. That's weird. Mr. Wright. Yes, Your Honor? It appears you have, it appears you have brought about another miracle. I thank you, Your Honor. I think not, Your Honor. Well, Powers was innocent. He should be found so it's only natural, not a miracle. Yes, yes, you are right. Very well. This court find the defendant Mr. Will Powers. Not guilty! Confetti fly! This all, the court is adjourned. One twelve PM, this record defendant lobby number three. I... I don't know what to say. Thank you so much. I'm just glad you're okay. Yes, but... It's sad. I know now that Mr. Hammer stole my costume. It's bad enough that he wanted to kill Miss Van Quest. But to think that he tried to frame me for the murder. It makes me sad. Tell me why, Mr. Wright. Huh? Tell me. Why did Mr. Hammer want to blame me? Well, this is what, well, this is what I think. I don't want the blame on you because... It's because you were the still samurai. 
Because I was the Steel Samurai? Mr. Hammer was a big star once. But he was, re but he was reduced to acting in a kids show and, and as acting as the villain to boot. The kids loved the Steel Samurai. And so, he hated you. I... I think I understand. He... could have just told me. I would have changed places with him any time. I think you missed the point. Yep. Thank you. I'm just glad it's all over. So am I. So am I. Congratulations, WP! Oh. Oh. He, he. Thanks to you, I'll be able to don the Steel Samurai outfit once more. I can't wait to get back into that sweaty costume and... Hmm? Is... something wrong? No, of course not! Meep. Meep. Say something right. I'm not good at small talk. Huh? What? Meep. Uh, um, that was too bad, Edward. You always need time gloating, do you? Uh, no, I really want to thank you. I think Quest would have gone away if you hadn't stepped in. Ah, uh, ah, uh, uh, pleased to meet you. I'm Powers. Sniff. Ah, uh, er, Edgeworth. I I'm a big fan of your work, Mr. Powers. Liar! Right. I must say I didn't expect to meet you again after all these years. Meet? Again? However... In respect, it would have been better if we had not met. Thanks to you, I'm saddled with unnecessary... Feelings. Sorry, feelings. Yes, unease and uncertainty. I'm just kind of, I'm just kind of necessary. They only serve to get in my way. You listen to me, Phoenix, right? Don't ever show your face in front of me again. That's what I came here to tell you. Mr. Right? Is this guy your friend? What? Friends? As if they're rivals! Rivals! Right, Nick? For now, we are, I guess. I get the feeling I'm missing something. Come on, Nick, tell me what's the deal with you and Edgeworth? And so the curtain closes on another trial. I 
Cause quite a stir by revealing the accident from five years ago. Let's talk with the town. Thankfully, Global Studios rethought its programming change. Going back to making kids shows again. Nick! This is it! The new show! You're gonna start today! You're gonna watch it with me, right? I'll admit, I was kind of surprised. I didn't think they should go through with it. You have to buy, you have to buy training, training cards too, okay? We have to train with Cody and that assistant! Fine, fine, I'll do it. Isn't it great that WP gets to play the lead again? I wonder if they'll, I wonder if they'll show his real face this time. I don't know. I don't think the world is ready for the real willpowers. The end. Whew! A new episode has been added. Whew! But that... What to be another episode? Oh, thanks for watching. Oh, that was tough in my throat. But, uh, whew. But subscribe if you have not. Hit the thumb up and the bell if you're on a phone. And join us next time for more Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney. Never stop learning and enjoy the randomness. We'll see you next.